<laughs> wow, I just can't. I'm going to use a club down. <laughs>
That's clumped it. it. You but clumped it, but that was correct. That, okay. And it, well, the, 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 the technology was correct. The, you played the, the notes at the right time with the right rhythm, with the right harmony, the right place. So that's a lot of rights. That's an E minor chord. That's yeah, wrong. it is. So, <laughs> so the G, B, D. Okay. okay. Try it one more time. Okay, remember the melody starts on the B. Yep. Uh huh. Excellent. The next part is simple. Lur. Lur. Simpler. Simpler. Oh, simpler. Simpler. So now remember the other chord, D major chord. Remember how it shaped that? It had that right. upside down U shape, starting on a D, which is here. Yep. And had the F sharp and the A. And in the here, the melody is the just the A chord. So it's. So I'm going to do the two parts together, and then repeat after me. Okay. So I'm going to start on the G, which you've already done. Slow as you need to. Just try to, when you get to the A of the little lamb, mm -hmm. that you play the D major chord on that first A. And you got it. Little lamb. That's right. So, try it from the beginning. So you got two chords. <laughs> and you get your G chord. You're starting with the G chord. Yeah. And remember, for all these chords, you're using... These fingers here, here, and here. So it's okay. Okay, next chord, next note. Where's the D? <laughs> Where is Where's it? the D? Yeah, in, in the note. Little mm. lamb, little lamb. Do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, this is this is this is all that there is to music. It just, I know it may take two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> it may. It may take longer. Okay, so go back to the beginning again. I'm gonna do it once more. Okay. If, if you're doing this, we need to relax. You just gotta relax. Okay. Start on the G chord. Right. Yeah, and there's your melody note. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, man, you're close. That's that's it. That's one thing. Yeah. Okay. Now check this out. Huh. That's all that's left of the song. Uh, Sounds right. Sounds right. You could do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, good, okay. <laughs> okay, now that you have wow. that, now that you've got that solid, <laughs> let's throw in the harmony. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? Okay. You can do that. Okay, do you remember your G and D chords? Ma da 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 Does that make sense? Yeah, do it again. Yeah. Ma ba 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 This is the harmony yeah. thing. Give it a go. There's no rush. Again, what, I, what I'm concerned about is that you're hearing how the harmony and melody work together versus being able to perform. Right. Yeah. So that's it. So there's your melody. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Do it again. Yeah, and what are the notes? Yes. Yep. Right. And then the last part was the, and that's G, D. So now you're back to a G chord. 
Yeah, and then the melody note is B, and then D, and then on your last D is when you play the other D chord. That is it. Now I know it's disjointed right now, right. But, but that is the whole structure of it. And it's, I'm gonna play it once, okay. I know, because this is, this is, you've been playing for like an hour and a half right now, your brain has got to be fried. We're gonna take a break while Daniel figures this out. We'll be right back. Hit the bell. <laughs> Hit the bell, like and subscribe. That's good. We're done, this one is done, let's have lunch. <laughs>